This videotape will show you the parts and accessories of vertical band machines. The vertical band machine, or vertical band saw as it is often called, is one of the most versatile machine tools in the shop. It can be used to shape and finish parts by sawing, by filing, or by polishing, depending on the type of band employed. You can also use the vertical band machine for sawing contours into flat stock. After viewing this videotape, you should be able to write down the safety procedures for working in the shop and operating a vertical band machine, identify the parts of a vertical band machine and describe their function, and identify the accessories used on a vertical band machine. You must protect your eyes while you are using a vertical band machine. Always wear safety glasses with side shields. For friction sawing, wear an approved face shield. Remove your rings and watches. Always use a brush to remove chips from band machine operations. Never use your hand or a rag to brush chips. Never wear gloves when you are sawing or filing on the band machine. All wheel and blade guards must be in place anytime you operate the band machine. Vertical band machines are made in a wide variety of sizes. The size of the machine is measured by the throat width or the distance from the column to the working side of the band. Size is also determined by the distance from the table to the post when the post is at its highest position. These size measurements determine the size of a workpiece a band machine can handle. The basic parts of a vertical band machine are the base, the column, the head, the post, and the work table. The base of the machine houses the lower band wheel and drive, the band speed control, and the gear shift. It also supports the column. The column connects the base to the head and provides an enclosed return path for the band. It provides the mount point for the main controls and dials, as well as the band welder, shear, and grinder. The head of the machine houses the upper band wheel, supports the post, and has the job selector mounted on the front. The upper band wheel has a tilt adjustment it is used to align the band in the guides. The post extends down from the head and supports the various blade guides, filing guides, and polishing guides. The post can be adjusted for height to clear work of different thicknesses. You should allow one eighth to one fourth of an inch above the work for sawing. The machine is equipped with upper guides, and lower guides. These guides align the blade and support it under operating pressures. These guides must be changed when a saw blade of different width is used. You must match the guide width and the blade width. Some machines also have angle guides that tilt the blade to allow for cutting pieces wider than the throat will accommodate. The job selector will provide most of the information you need to set up the band machine for machining. Select the machining operation and type of material on the outside ring. For our example, we will use sawing. Low carbon machine steel, 5 8 inch thick. Line up the selector so that the type of material is over the selector face. Then read the information that you need in selecting a blade. You need to know the saw pitch, which is the number of teeth per inch. In this case, the pitch is 10 teeth per inch. The type of blade is precision. And the saw velocity should be 165 feet per minute. With this information, 
you can correctly set up the machine for sawing. If you are setting up the machine for filing, the procedure is the same. Set the job selector for the operation and the material. Then read for file cut, file type, and file velocity. The work table, mounted atop the base, supports the workpiece as you feed it into the band. Most tables can be tilted for cutting angles on the work. The work table can also be equipped with a rip fence, miter attachment, and a power feed attachment. A circle cutting attachment can be attached to the post for cutting circles of different diameters. The speed indicator registers the velocity of band travel in feet per minute. This means that at a reading of 165, 165 feet of band will pass a fixed point in one minute. You increase or decrease the band velocity by changing the speed selector control handle. The speed selector is also equipped with a high and low range selector. The transmission must be set to the bottom of the range when you change the high and low range selection lever. The operating control panel turns the machine on or off as the selector indicates. The motor and transmission that drive the lower band wheel are located in the back of the machine. There are a number of lubrication points inside the machine. Check the lubrication chart in the instruction manual for these points and lubricate them at recommended intervals. The band welder, mounted in the column of the machine, can save time and money for your shop. Band saw blades are usually supplied in roll form, which can be cut to length and butt welded to form endless bands for machining. The band welder makes a band machine more versatile by allowing a blade to be cut, inserted through a drilled hole, and re-welded for sawing internal sections of a part. The band welder or butt welder has a blade shear at the top, which cuts a square end on the blade when used properly. The band weld grinder, located at the bottom of the welder, is especially designed for finishing welded blades to the correct thickness after they have been welded. Band machines may be fitted with file bands for finishing sawed work. To change a machine from sawing to filing merely requires the changing of guides, then placing the file band in place and adjusting it. The band machine can also be set up for polishing by changing to polishing guides or by placing a polishing band on the machine. You will notice that the polishing guides are designed to support the band against the force applied by the workpiece. To review what you have seen in this videotape, you must take safety precautions when you are working on the band machine. These include wearing safety glasses, removing rings and watches, using no gloves on the machine, using a brush to remove chips from the machine, and keeping all guards in place. The basic parts of a vertical band machine include a base, the column, the head, the post, and a work table. Vertical band machines also have a number of accessories that make it a very versatile machine. These are the butt welder, the power feed, the circle cutting attachment, the rip fence, and the miter attachment. Vertical band machines could also be used for filing and polishing operations. When you become competent in the use of a vertical band machine, you will be able to produce parts rapidly and economically, making you a better machinist.